Hi, and welcome to Zero Waste Kitchen. So if you're like me, you made New Year's dinner of black eyed peas and cabbage, if you're like me here in the South especially. So today, I it's four days after, so I need to use up whatever leftover cabbage and black eyed peas I have. So today I'm doing a whole new meal and I'm gonna teach you how to do it that you can probably do with most of the items in your kitchen. So let's get started. All right, first you'll need cabbage and black eyed peas, both of which should be leftovers you know what's lucky. Um, we're going to have four or five potatoes, some mushrooms, a bunch of green onions, a couple pieces of celery, one carrot, definitely a carrot, and an onion. Some dried herbs, I've got bay, thyme, and rosemary, plant butter, some can of sweet peas, some good oil, extra virgin olive oil, Guinness, and salt. Also you want a peeler, a can opener, a good knife, cutting board, a pot for cooking your potatoes, a oven proof iron skillet. Let's get the potatoes ready for the cold cannon, which is basically mashed potatoes with cabbage and usually chives. Today we're using green onion. I'm doing this really, really fast. I'm totally not that fast. Sounds like a typewriter. Yes, Mr. Rockefeller, I'll get you your coffee right away. Rinse those out because you want to get that starch out of there and then throw it on the stove add some water, put it on medium high heat, and then let's go get to work on chopping the veggies. Chop off the ends, cut the carrots. Mmm, I love the sound of ceramic on bamboo in the morning. Let's put some oil into your oven proof skillet, turn the heat on medium high, add carrots and celery. Here's a handy tip. Put the other half of the onion that we're not going to use flat on a plate and in the refrigerator. It will keep for a good week. All right, chop your onions. Doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of a quick rough chop. I actually can't chop onions very long or they make me cry. Is that a heart? That's a heart. Aww. All right, so by this point you need to add some salt. You need to add salt to your potatoes and your mirepoix. Keep stirring that mirepoix on medium high and let's chop some mushrooms. Add those mushrooms to the skillet. Stir that all, make sure you cover everything with oil, all the pieces. Most of your water has evaporated off of the mushrooms. So let's add some herbs. Break them down. I like to rub herbs between my hands because it gets the oils out. Now let's stir that up. Actually, don't pull out the bay leaf like I did. Pour in your Guinness. This is what makes a true shepherd's pie. Woo! That's steamy. Those potatoes are about ready. So let's get to the coal cannon. Let's grab our cabbage. Let's chop it up. Remember, this is cooked cabbage. It's rinse your bowl. Chop it up. Rinse that cutting board and let's chop your onions. Save the whites. Oh yeah, save half of this green onion. Only throw half into your coal can and the other half will be used as a fresh garnish. Ooh, did I scare you? Good, you need to get over here and throw your black eyed peas into this pot because your carrot and onion and celery are about ready. Your potatoes look done. Let's move them over to the front so you can work easier. Mashing, oh, it looks like art. Mash and stir, mash and stir. Let's really break down that potato. I'm watching you. All right, the cabbage, the green onion, and a hunk of plant butter into that coal cannon. Look at that, the best mashed potatoes ever. Now we're going to add that cold cannon to the top of this. First, let's skim off the let's skim off any foam at the top of your stew here. Cover up that cold cannon. All right, about 20 minutes later, most of the water should have evaporated. Let's go ahead and cover it with a layer of green peas 
and then let's drop that cold cannon on the top. Now don't make the cold cannon flat. Just drop it on the top and smooth it out a little. Don't do a lot of smoothing. Throw this in the oven for 350 degrees, about 30 minutes, nice and steamy. Throw it with some bread, some sliced radishes, maybe some plant butter. We also enjoyed this with a nice watercress salad. That makes a good complete meal and you should definitely enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. Join us next time on Zero Waste Kitchen.